The supercomputers of today and tomorrow must manage extremely large data sets with ever increasing complexity and at ever faster speeds. With so much data used in and generated by simulations, observations, and experiments, data compression is a crucial part of the scientific process. Developed at Lawrence Livermore, the ZFP Software Library provides a comprehensive solution to both lossy and lossless data compression. ZFP reduces the storage space of high-precision floating-point data without sacrificing its accuracy. Unique among data compressors, ZFP was designed to be a compact number format for storing data arrays in memory in compressed form while still supporting high-speed random access. ZFP divides multi-dimensional arrays into small blocks that are independently compressed and decompressed on demand when an array element is accessed without the application's knowledge. This flexibility allows applications to work with ZFP arrays as though they were regular uncompressed arrays while saving storage, time, and compute power. ZFP has a large customer base in the supercomputing community, both in industry and academia, resulting in over 1.5 million downloads per year. Scientific application teams use ZFP for a range of challenging problems, from seismology to climate modeling, and from fluid dynamics to radiation transport. Some data compression solutions are lossless, which means they reconstruct the data perfectly but inefficiently. In contrast, ZFP primarily uses lossy compression, which allows numerically negligible errors in exchange for the best and fastest compression possible. With ZFP, researchers can define their tolerance for these errors and control the accuracy of their results, like in this simulation of a Rayleigh-Taylor instability, where user set error tolerances and consequently compression ratios slowly vary from 50 times on the left to 600 times on the right. ZFP can reduce an application's offline storage by tens to hundreds of times, in this earthquake model, compression with ZFP reduces storage 250 times. With the adoption of ZFP compression, seismologists can now output and archive the results of the whole region being modeled in order to further simulate and evaluate seismic building vulnerability. Previously, such analysis was possible only for a few selected sites of interest. The Poisson equation describes important problems in physics such as electrostatics, thermodynamics, and gravity. Here, we solve this differential equation using six different number formats, with the 64-bit floating point gold standard at the top left and 12-bit ZFP at bottom left. At less than one-fifth the storage, ZFP closely matches the 64-bit benchmark, while number formats that require more memory than ZFP either fail completely or show significant distortion. As shown in this helium bubble shock hydrodynamics problem, ZFP operating at 12 bits of compressed storage produces qualitatively identical results to the 64-bit gold standard not achievable using conventional 16-bit number formats. This example also illustrates ZFP's ability to preserve sharp interfaces between different fluids that usually pose challenges for compressors. A complex scientific simulation like this shock wave passing through an L-shaped chamber usually shows a lot of variation in detail over space and time. Some areas are more difficult to compress than others, as indicated here by different colors. ZFP's variable rate storage capability allocates more bits to the most challenging regions, optimizing the entire compression process and resulting in several orders of magnitude of improved solution accuracy without extra storage cost or loss of random access. The plot shows how the errors in the solution vary over time for four different number formats. By solving this problem using ZFP's 28-bit variable rate arrays, we reduce numerical errors by a factor of 10 million over traditional 32-bit floating point arrays. 
I work for the Cooperative Institute for Meteorological Satellite Studies at the University of Wisconsin, and my research group focuses on the simulation of deep moist convection, such as severe thunderstorms, storms that produce tornadoes, downbursts, and other very damaging types of winds. Because the wind in tornadoes moves very fast, we need to analyze data at a very high temporal rate, meaning we need to save lots of data at a very high frequency. ZFP enables me to save data in a tornado that's moving extremely fast without missing any of the important science. If I wasn't using ZFP, I would not be able to save as much data. That's just a fact. ZFP can give me about 10 times more data compression than using some of the best lossless compression options out there. I am using ZFP in fixed accuracy mode where you specify the maximum amount of error you are willing to tolerate for any given variable across your entire simulation. This is a very, very useful way for scientists to initialize their compression. So you don't have to think in terms of bits, you think in terms of accuracy. And ZFP goes out and takes care of that for you. I use ZFP because it's easy, it's fast, and it helps me get my work done.